Hello, my beautiful wild and crazy ladies. It's getting close to Christmas. <gasps> no, this is not my holiday extravaganza with a hodgepodge of makeup that comes after. This is a new product I've never used before, and it's by LA Girl. I've never used any of their products. So this is the LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation Long Wear. Now, it's matte, and I'm told it can be drying on dry skin, but I'm going to add some of my favorite moisturizer. Well, this is actually my sunscreen that I use when I don't want to use tinted. It's 60 SPF and it's a serum, so it really hydrates beforehand. And why I'm not worried about the color is because I have these foundation mixing pigments. Okay, what a concept. If you haven't heard of them, like I hadn't, what they do is they customize your foundation shade to match you, shift to undertones warmer and cooler, white, yellow, and orange have a soft matte finish, blue mixing pigment is a translation gel formula, they're cruelty free, paraben free, and uh, vegan. All right, the white, which I got, because it sounded more like what I was looking for, lightens your foundation, perfect for adjusting your summer color to match your winter tone. Now, since I'm not sure, I usually get a foundation that that's, uh, doesn't match my undertone, so that's why I got the blue as well because the blue neutralizes foundation. If your foundation is too warm or orange looking, which this kind of gives me an idea of, add a little blue to bring it back to a neutral undertone. So we are going to get started. All right. And then shake, shake, shake. I have Christmas music on the background. It just sets the tone up. This is my favorite time of year. All right. So I'm going to put a squirt of the makeup on this palette and now I'm going to mix it so you can see. I mean, just spread it out. And then I am going to put a color that I'm going to, a spritz that I'm going to mix with the white. <laughs> fun, fun. If you're useless, let me know. If you're useless, if you've used this, please let me know what you thought. Okay, so here we have right here. We can't see the white. The white's here, the color I haven't mixed, and this is the true color. So I'm going to dip in the white and I'm going to start mixing. Now, maybe a little more. Doesn't look like it really changed it much. You're only supposed to little, use a little dabble, do you? Now that does look a little lighter, but it still looks a little orange. So I'm gonna put this on my face right here. Okay, now I'm going to add the blue to this mixture. So you don't need hardly any at all. I am just going to, see that? I'm just gonna tip and then I'm going to do this. And it's supposed to... Oh! What do you think? Does that look more... like my color? I don't want orange. You know, I, the orange undertones are not good for me. I'm more of a neutral woman. So I'm going to mix some more. That looks like it did it. What do you think, girls? All right. I'm gonna take this and put it on my sponge. So I'm gonna grab right here, grab all of that, and I'm gonna mix. What do you think? Now, also, since it can be drying, I forgot, I'm gonna add a little bit of my <laughs> in with it. Let me, let me look and see what I'm doing. It's getting dark outside. Will we? Dark, so dark early. Okay, so then I think I can take some of the white and some of that blue and mix in with this over here. More blue. Try the forehead. I think, you know, because it is full coverage, that is just so new to me. The look is new. Now the NYX Blur and Perfect one that I use was thicker, but it, it was more moisturizing. But I did add some of my Skin Gooch. Mixing still, mixing this little palette up. It is a full coverage. I don't have to apply any concealer. Hmm. I just don't know, ladies. I don't know. 
We're gonna see how it wears too. Okay, and I already have makeup on my eyes. I use this Laura Geller Shimmer, this color. Very pretty, and I just use it all on my eyelids. Usually I don't do that, and I put a little green color pop on it too for the holiday season. Oh. All right, I haven't done uh, my eyebrows. I've done my lips. Now let's see if we can bring this to, to life. It's so fun to have this option, though. Take you a while to get it. Once you do, you just gotta, you know, remember, take a picture of it, how you mixed it. Looks like it sits in my lines a little. Extreme close-up. <laughs> All right, now I am going to go on and finish my other makeup you know, add something to it and see if we can kind of, you know, make it three, four, five dimensional. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, ladies, I'm back. I will list everything I used in the description box below, all the pretty, pretty products I used to complement this makeup. Now, I think this makeup, like any makeup that could be on the more dry side, adding moisturizer to it, mixing it in, it, it really helps with, with it, especially with dry skin. Now, I think these guys are the hits, all right? This pigmented mixing, you could use it with any makeup you have. So if you have a favorite makeup, but the color is just a little too dark or too warm or whatever for this time of year, it does change at least four times a year, my color on my face. So it's a keeper. Let me know if you've tried these or if you will try them. Oh, and I want to tell you, I keep hurting my hand. I couldn't figure out why it was bloody and had a owie on it. It's the ice maker. When I reach in to break up the ice, I'm scratching the hell out of my hand. All right. I just thought you should know. I may be covered in band-aids. Who knows? All right, my beautiful ladies. Look for my holiday extravaganza. And it will be a hodgepodge of makeup, but it will look holidayish. Okay? I promise. And get yourself some of those cleats that go on your shoes for this weather because it is slippery out there when you don't know it. All right, ladies. See you soon.